What is going on guys, this is going to be a really, really quick video. Um, I've been having crazy performance issues with uh, Modern Warfare 2 recently and I imagine it would have been the same for Warzone 2. Um, and I've been pretty much what you've seen on screen, uh, latency shooting up and down, spiking all over the place, constant lag, basically unplayable for the first two minutes of the match or something like that. Here are two very quick methods to increase your FPS and eliminate hitches and lag. Firstly, it's a really simple one. You go to your documents, go to Call of Duty, you go to players, you go to uh, options.3, COD22. You go all the way down. It's easy to find it if you just look at these little sections. That's gameplay, you've got to find system. And once you've found system, um, change your render work account to, to basically whatever is half the amount of cores you have. If you want to see what cores you have, uh, go to Task Manager, click on Performance, then CPU, and as you can see on screen, there are your cores. And then save it and go to Options and then Properties again and click Read Only so it cannot change it again. Um, and nextly for the next method, you type in in the search bar, type in Graphics Settings, click on it. Once you've clicked on Graphics Settings, this, if you have it on, could be absolutely shagging your PC because this is what it was doing to me. I had this on and yeah, I turned it off and it was it was actually like tons better. Um, I did experiment with one render work account on COD and of course to increase FPS, I just put everything to the minimum graphics apart from shadow map resolution, which I put to normal and render resolution, which you put to 100 so it doesn't look grainy and horrible. So it's basically a throw up between the render work account being at one as an experiment and the GPU scheduling being turned off. But I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you all in the next one and for Warzone 2's launch.